start of week four CrossFit only. I can't believe we're here. Actually, it's technically like week five, but you know, I skipped a couple days uh, to travel. So yesterday was Murph and I didn't die, thankfully, um, but I am super, super sore. So I'm gonna go into this workout knowing that I'm sore. This is a little recommendation for you guys at home. If you're sore, like, just treat your body with kindness. Um, still work out, get some movement in, but don't feel bad if it's not like your best workout ever. You don't, you know, set a PR. You're just, you're getting in there, getting your skills better and um, moving some weight, staying active. So it all counts. Everything that you do counts. So let's go work out and just make the best of it. One calorie shy of eight, the 18 minute time cap. So maybe I made it, I don't really know. I think it says 24 calories, so I think I made it. I'm just gonna say I made it. Oh, okay, we have a couple more workouts this week. Tomorrow, I'll see you at whatever food choice I make, whether it's a meal or a snack. I don't know, but I'll see you when I'm eating tomorrow. Making a little bit of a lunch. I just worked out and thankfully the workout was pretty quick. We did um, clean and jerks and burpees and then we did like a one rep max of cleans, power cleans, and I actually did pretty good. I got to 145, so I'm super happy about that. Um, I always loved power cleans way back when. Uh, but anyway, food wise, I want to know down below in the comments if you guys want to see another month um, of doing CrossFit, maybe not doing CrossFit only because I still want to incorporate um, bodybuilding. Uh, so we'll talk about that at the end of this video, what I'm going to do moving forward. But I'm almost thinking that it would be fun to uh, roll into modifying like my food intake and seeing like what happens um, not only when you change your workout style, but then you change your food intake because you know food intake is about 80 to 90% of any kind of progress you're going to see. So I want to, again, prove that point. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Just making an egg salad sandwich. I had this in the fridge. We got to um, go into this meeting for Fat and Weird and Motive Brand. So that's what's happening right now. Day 27 or 28, I, I don't really know what specific day it is, but we're at the last weigh-in, so let's see where I am this week. Haven't stepped on this. 146.8. I think that's where I was last week after, like I had weighed in super heavy at 150, and then the next day I showed you guys I was at 146.6 like or something, so this week, pretty much the same, uh, which we all know I wasn't really expecting to like lose weight in this process because I'm not changing my eating at all, just switching to CrossFit. Overall, I feel good about my body this week. I would say like an eight and a half out of 10, which I think is the highest rating that I've been um, since starting. My energy levels on my rest day, I will say my rest days are like way higher. So that's one thing about CrossFit, and I'll talk about this at the end of the video. It's one thing that I'm like, kind of takes, takes the energy out of you. So I don't know if my body's just adapting to that, but it's a little bit harder to like be active with Letty um, after like my day is through, like before bedtime, if that makes sense. So that would be one thing. Um, but overall, I feel stronger. I like challenging myself. Um, so we're gonna do one last workout and then we'll get into like final what are my thoughts what's my plan moving forward so let's go work out <laughs>
shoulders, man. Over 200 pounds. Wrapping up this CrossFit only journey. Obviously, I've enjoyed it. If you can't see that in my vlogs, then you're probably just not even watching them <laughs> because I'm pretty happy about it. I, I loved CrossFit before and I still love it. So getting back to it feels really, really great. Uh, all in all over these last couple of weeks, I feel like my energy is about the same as when I started. Um, however, there's more like highs and lows. So I have noticed that on the days that I have a really hard CrossFit workout, I get to like maybe 6 p.m. and I'm like, okay. I'm a lot more tired than just, you know, from a regular lifting workout. So I would say that's maybe the energy difference. So like if I was an 8 out of 10 before, maybe I'm a 7 out of 10 just because there there are some highs and lows. But that's getting better because my body is just adapting to it a little bit. Uh, but as far as how I feel about my body, um, I think I said like an 8 out of 10 in that first video. And I would say it's about the same. It might be even actually a little bit lower. I feel like... I do need to rein it in a little bit or modify my diet. I've been really relaxed and I love that for myself. Um, but in order to, you know, keep improving um, and see changes that maybe I do want to see, I'm going to have to modify my food. Um, so overall, maybe seven and a half out of 10, not that different about my body. I do feel stronger though, and I am very proud of myself. So, averages out to be still eight out of ten i don't know it's just different it's it's different right feeling stronger and um more accomplished with these workouts versus my regular bodybuilding style if you are sitting at home considering whether you want to try crossfit or not or maybe a different style of workout um i would say some pros to crossfit are that um, you have a, like a guided workout. It's pretty brainless. You go in, you do the warm up, you do the workout, like you have somebody helping you and telling you what to do. So that's just great. Um, I still spend about the same time at the gym as I normally would. Actually, maybe even more because, well, I don't know, you're in and out within an hour. And that was true for me bodybuilding. But I would say like it feels a little bit short, shorter because you're working the entire time. Um, uh, another pro would be like if you're competitive and you, you like ch a challenge, it's awesome for that. It's super fun. You have a good community around you. Uh, cons would be it, it makes it difficult. Um, so like I said, my energy levels were like high and low. Um, the money, you know, if you don't have that kind of money to spend, like $30 for the regular bodybuilding gym or $200, let's say 100, 100 to $200 depending on where you live for CrossFit. So you just have to weigh out like, is that worth it for you? And for me, it is. Another con of just doing CrossFit, I feel, is that I do miss some muscle groups. So like my lats, I don't hit very often. And this is all dependent on the programming that's provided to you at the CrossFit gym. My hamstrings are a little bit um, lacking. And I would say like my core, even though we're using our core a lot, like specifically targeting my core, maybe even my biceps and arms, which you guys know I love arm day. So that's why moving forward, we're gonna start the next series, okay? Rolling right into it. We're gonna do four weeks of what happens when I modify my diet now? So in order to find out what I'm doing in the next series, you gotta watch, you gotta watch the next series, you gotta watch, you know, video number one. Overall though, my CrossFit experience has been awesome. Highly recommend to anyone. If you want me to do a specific video on like how do you choose your CrossFit gym, I could do that. I don't know. If you have any ideas about videos, just comment down below. The big question, did it change how my body looked? Not really. Nothing really happened. My weight stayed about the same because I ate about the same. So stay tuned. We're going to find out the answers to the next question, which is what happens when you modify your diet? Subscribe if you haven't because you don't want to miss the future videos. Comment down below. Like this video. 